My name is Avery. I'm going to be your practitioner today. What's yours? Kindle. Hi, Kindle. So I'm going to be doing an abdominal and a musculoskeletal assessment on you today, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions for me? No. Okay. During this assessment, I am going to be asking you to do some things. Lay down, stand up. Just bear with me and let me know if there's any tenderness, okay? Okay. So I've already washed my hands and I'm ready for the assessment. I've introduced myself, so I'm going to get you to go ahead and lay down with... Um, your head on that pillow, okay? Okay. So beginning the abdominal assessment, um, normally I would have them with their shirts up, but for this assessment, I'm not going to do that. I'm looking for um, skin being the appropriate color for her ethnicity, which it is. I'm looking for any obvious bulges or masses which I don't see any of, any hernias, which I don't see any of. Um, everything is symmetrical, and I don't see any uh, irregular venous patterns. So I'm going to go on to the auscultation portion of it, okay? First, I'm going to be using the diaphragm, the stethoscope, starting in this right lower corner, then to the left. right upper corner, left upper corner, and then to the left lower corner. Her bowel sounds are present and normal active. I'm then going to be auscultating the aorta for any brewery and the renal arteries. And I don't hear any of that, so that's excellent. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, start with per percussion. So I'm going to be percussing each of those four quadrants that we talked about. I do hear timpani, so that's excellent. I'm also going to be um, percussing for size of the liver span. So I'm going to start on this right side all the way down and then just get to where the sound changes. So I did that, so that is the lower border. And then I'm going to start upper border, so that is the liver span. Hers is about seven centimeters, which is about normal. Then I'm going to move over to um, percuss the spleen, and that is within normal limits as well. So next I'm going to move on to the palpation portion of the exam. I'm going to be doing light palpation in order to feel of any tenderness, any barring, um, and any masses, any hernia. So one to two centimeters at first. Do you feel any pain? No. Excellent. And then I'm going to be going um, using a two-handed deep palpation technique, four centimeters down, and this will also be letting me know if there are any masses as well as feeling for any organs. So four centimeters deep. We're looking for a feeling the liver the spleen, the gallbladder, and then each kidney. So I'm going to go on this other side. Excellent. Any questions? No. Any pain? No. When was your last bowel movement? This morning. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to help you sit up in that um, and just swing your, your legs around there, great. Now I'm going to be assessing for costovertebral tenderness, okay, so just let me know if this hurts. We're going on the right side, the left side, and then now we're going on the right side. No. Perfect. So that concludes the abdominal portion of this exam. Next we're going to the musculoskeletal, okay? Yes. Great, so I'm gonna start with your jaw, okay? okay. I'm going to put my, place my fingers right here, and if you could just open and close. Excellent. So I don't hear any popping. Um, I don't feel any crevitus or any swelling. So I'm going to get you to do that again. And then just move the bottom of your jaw side to side. Beautiful. And then back to front. Any pain? No. Excellent. So if you can jut your jaw forward for me. Great. And then back. Great. Perfect. So next we're going to go over onto the shoulders. So just by inspecting her, I can see that she's fairly symmetrical. She's very aligned. Um, her muscles of her arms and her legs, as well as her back, 
are um, of the appropriate size. Um, one's not bigger than the other. They're very symmetrical. I see no lumps. I see no favoring one side or the other. So uh, right now we're looking at a healthy 24 year old. So I'm gonna be asking you to do some things, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is ask you to shrug your shoulders. Great, and then I'm gonna place my hands right here, just um, fight against my, just resist it, okay? So shrug your shoulders again. Excellent. So I'm going to get you to place your arms right here to the side. Great, we're testing abduction, and then back in. Great, so that's abduction. Out to the front. Great, and all the way up. Great, that's flexion. And then back down, hyperextend your arms. Do one big circle behind. And then one big circle in front of. You can just do your shoulders if you want. Perfect, perfect. So I'm gonna be asking you to do some things, um, mostly just resisting my hands, okay? Can you put your hands up for me, your arms up? Great, and then fight against me on this as well. Great. So, both of her shoulders are symmetrical, strength is five out of five. I'm going to move on to her elbow now, and I'm only going to be doing this left elbow. In real practice, I would be doing them both bilaterally. So, just to point out some landmarks here, we are going with the ulna right here, and then we have the ulcranon process right over here. Here's our humerus with our lateral epicondyle and our medial epicondyle. So, I'm going to get you to um, bend your elbow. So flex it and then extend it. Any issues? No. There's no crepitus, no swelling of this joint. So I'm going to get you to pull your hand towards you. Good, and then fight me on this side too. Excellent. So that tests um, the flexion and uh, extension strength. And then if you can pronate and seponate. Seponate. Good, excellent. Any problems there? No. Great. Now I'm going to be looking at your hands. So I'm going to be feeling for any crappiness, any swelling, anything like that. Can I get you to move your thumbs right like this? Great. And flex your hands for me, your fingers. Perfect. Flex your wrist, extend your wrist, and then once again, just give me resistance. So that one, and then we're going to go with this one too. Great. So that is five out of five resistance. And once again, I would be doing it on the other side as well. Great, so now I'm going to move toward your cervical spine, your neck, and I'm just going to put your free hair out of the way so that I can see it. Can you tilt your chin to your chest for me? Great, and then all the way up to the ceiling. Awesome, and then neutral. Look to the left. Look to the right. And then just move your, put your ear to your shoulders on, on both sides. Any problems with that? No. Perfect. So I'm going to be doing something. I'm going to be testing your strength, and I'm going to be putting my hand right here. Can you look to the left for me? Great, and then to the right. Awesome. Um, and that is just going to, to test the strength for our uh, sternocleidomastoids. So if I need you to stand up, I'm going to be checking out your back now. Perfect. So I'm looking at the back. Once again, um, usually I would lift the shirt up or allow them to, have, to not have a shirt on, but for this, these purposes, we're not going to do that. So I'm just taking a look at our spine. Once again, I'm taking a look at our shoulders, making sure that there's no humps, no bumps, no lumps. Um, skin is intact back here. I'm feeling all along the spine as well as uh, the muscles that come off of the spine. Everything's fine with that. I am gonna do some percussion just to elicit pain. Any pain? No, perfect. Can I get for you to bend forward? Great, and then stand up and bend slightly back. Excellent, and then stand up. And then do give me a half moon to the left. Great, and a half moon to the right. Perfect, and then could you um, twist at, at your hips for me? Beautiful, any pain? Everything looks exactly as it's supposed to with that. Um, I'm going to move on to the hips now. So I am looking that she does not have any um, weight bearing on one more than the other. She has very good posture. I am going to be feeling just to make sure. Excellent, excellent. So if I can get you to raise your hip forward for me, flex it, and then extend it back. And then we're gonna do that abduction again, so out to the side, right? And then abduction, so back center. And then just put your foot in front of you 
and we're going to internally rotate your, tip, your hip and then externally rotate your hip. Perfect. And once again, I'm only going to be doing this on this one side, but in real practice, I would be doing it bilaterally. So I am going to ask you to give me some resistance again, okay? So can you push it forward, give, give my hand some resistance? Great. And then back. Good. And then to the side. Five out of five. So we're going to get you to stand up on here too, to sit back up here. I'm going to get her to sit so that she can be a little more comfortable, as well as us being able to look at some more things. I'm expecting a knee. Usually I would prefer shorts, um, but these are fantastic and they're very cute. So I'm going to look at no obvious deformities. I'm going to look at her popliteal, feel her popliteal. I feel no crepitus. I feel no inflammation or any swelling. So I'm going to get you to um, extend your leg and then flex it back. Excellent. Any pain? No? Perfect. I'm going to get you to resist my hand again. Great. And then again. Perfect. No problems with that. Five out of five. And I am going to take a look at your feet now. Um, so if I can get for you to flex your foot back and then extend it and point your toes. Perfect. Now I'm going to get you to invert it. So I'm going to get you to, to take your toes to your center. Very good. And then away from you. Perfect. And can you flex your feet and point, point your toes to just your toes? Perfect, perfect. Any problems with that? No. Okay. Well, once again, I am going to ask for you to um, do some resistance exercises with me, okay? So just resist my hand here, great. And then like you're stepping on a gas pedal. Perfect, perfect. Well, I do believe that that includes our um, exam. Do you have any questions for me? No. Any pain, any problems going through that exam that I might have? No. Not picked up on? Perfect. Okay. Well, it was very nice meeting you, Kendall. I'm going to wash my hands again. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. You too.